this open we're going to go to select all edit copy we're going to copy the image then we're going to open the image we want to work with using the template that you've downloaded from the website so once that's open all we're going to do is paste the Polaroid image onto this image and we're actually going to make several copies of that so we're going to paste some more of the Polaroid images I think four is a good number for this picture, so I'm going to go with that. Using the free transform tool, I can actually rotate the Polaroid templates as necessary, giving it a nice little scattered effect. Now we're going to select our background layer. We're going to go up to select all. Then we're going to copy that using edit copy. And now we're going to fill in that layer using a certain color. I'm going to choose white for this one. As you can see the pictures are obviously gone. Um, that's because we filled in our background layer. And we can hit Control or Command D to deselect the selection. I'm going to toggle on and off the layer so I know which one I want to select. And using the magic wand tool I'm going to click inside the frame and it's going to select the white area. So we go to Edit paste special and we're going to paste into that way the image that we copied earlier will paste into the Polaroid frame I'm gonna right click under blending options and add a drop shadow I'm gonna change the distance and spread to about 5 and for the size it's gonna be about 30 or 32 then I'm going to click the FX icon as you can see on this top layer. I'm going to hold Alt or Option and I'm just going to drag that to each individual layer and that will apply the drop shadow to each of the Polaroid template images. I'm going to change the order in which the layer is presented to the far right picture. I'm going to move it on top of the one right beside it. So I just highlight the layers, make sure they're locked and I can just drag them and drop them until the picture is on top. I'm going to add some asymmetry to this picture by moving the picture itself. So I'm going to move it up, maybe move it down to the right, to the left, wherever's a good place. I'm going to put it there just so her shoulders aren't touching and so it looks like it's scattered all over a floor or wherever. And I can actually do this for one, two, three, or even all four pictures, but I'm just going to do it to two pictures. Once you're satisfied, you're primarily done unless you wanted to add a background or you wanted to add a logo, depending on what you want to do. Uh, this is the overall effect, and I hope you enjoyed watching.